Hello everybody, I wanted to do a video about making a homemade air blower for a gas mask and if you saw the one I did the other day that was just you know a really improvised idea of would it work if you just had something blowing air through, turns out it would. Now you can buy proper respirator blowers but in the UK there's not many to choose from so you can either spend a couple of hundred pounds normally and get a fairly decent military grade one or you can spend a load of money and try and get one imported from somewhere. Or I thought, why not try and make my own for like almost no money whatsoever. So I've bought one of these, it's a battery powered air pump, I've put the batteries in it already. Um, it comes with some attachments, um, but the only attachments I want are this, this one on here, this end. Because basically by default, each end is just like a circle like that. And the idea is, air is sucked in through here and air is blown out through here. Because it's a battery powered one, there's no leads to get in the way. So you could put this in a satchel. And the idea I want, really, is that the filter will be here, so air is pulled through the filter, and air is blown out here. So we attach the gas mask hose to here and secure it, uh, air is constantly being blown into the mask, and we have a filter here, so air is pulled through. So it should be fairly simple to make, so how I'm going to do it is I'm going to use, I think it's this end I want here, if not, I'll just switch them around in a minute and this end on here. I had like a quick go of doing it yesterday and it did work fairly well, but I didn't secure it with plumbing tape, which is the next step. And the idea is that obviously I can get my hose on here. So let me just show you the hose. Obviously that's the end that connects to a mask. This is this end. So obviously that would secure there like that. It should work fairly well. And what I'm going to do is get a 40mm NATO filter and secure that to there. Obviously then what happens is... Air is blown through there. So if you're not familiar with these, you just these are the ones that take D batteries. I got a D battery one because that's going to use more power, it takes four D batteries. And um, D batteries, you can get decent rechargeable ones that last absolutely ages before you need to recharge them. I do think with most of these pumps, they say don't keep them on for like more than half an hour. So obviously an actual proper gas mask pump thing might be a bit better in that regard. But most of the time you just use a negative pressure system anyway with a filter on the mask. But if you did one of one these, this will work fine. Um, so let me get the, my plumbing tape, I'll secure it all together and then we can actually do a test of it and see how well it works. Okay, the prototype is rigged up. Basically there's plumbing tape that you can't see on the inside of the thread so, that, so it makes a really good seal. Then I've just got some parcel tape and put on the outside just to make sure nothing falls off. With the plumbing tape on the inside it sits pretty flush and seems firm enough but knowing my luck I'd knock it off. So anyway, there's parcel tape around the outside, plumbing tape on the inside that should make a good seal. So obviously that's not going anywhere. Now what I need to do in a moment is dig out a good satchel bag so I can actually have it, you know, resting like that um, in a bag rather than it being, um, you know, totally loose and uh, falling over. But as you can see, air is blowing through this. I don't know if there's actually anything in frame that I can demonstrate that it's blowing air with. But that is blowing air. So I'm going to go find a satchel bag now. So the air is sucked in through this filter. Blown out here. So all I need to do is find a satchel bag where I can store it like that in the bag. And there's probably a way I could rig this onto a belt somehow if I wanted to do it that way. But it should be fine in the satchel bag. Then once I've done that I can thread it onto some masks and we can test it on various masks. But mostly I'm going to use the Seed Gorman mask I've got because that's designed for positive pressure and this definitely gives positive pressure. Right, time for a test. I'm using my PBF respirators bag because it's quite a big wide bag which is what you want when you have to have a pipe coming out the side not the top of a filter. So anyway, let's put the Seab Gorman mask on first. Right, that's the mask on. Now let me flip on the pump. And breathing with a powered respirator is very easy. No fogging, it keeps it totally clear. Now you can probably hear the air coming out regardless of if I'm breathing or not with how the valves work. And this 
thing with this system then is even when the uh, pump switched off you can still manually breathe through it because you can see the mask is now beginning to fog up because the valve won't open on this mask. Put the system back on. Works perfectly. Right let's just out of interest try it on a few other masks. Right, at the moment I can definitely smell the deodorant in the air, so let me put this on. The Israeli Shalon 4A1 civilian mask. Tighten the straps up on that and switch the pump back on. Again, breathing is very easy. Now, the great thing, obviously I can't smell the deodorant anymore. The great thing about having a positive pressure system is that you don't need the straps done up so tight because it works using, you know, positive pressure. Let's loosen this mask a little bit. So now I've got a much more comfortable fit and I still can't smell anything because air will just get around the gaps in the side of the mask if there are any. So this is a really nice system to use because um, with positive pressure you don't have to have the masks anywhere near as tight and it's actually much safer for you because there's positive pressure coming into the mask. So yeah, the system is working very well for now. Let's just try it on a couple more masks out of interest. Right, let's try it on an S10. Yeah, very comfortable, easy to breathe. I know of an S10 you're meant to have a hose that shape differently, but... You could alternatively set this up with the filter on the other side of the blower, but uh, I think it works better this way, to be honest. Because this way you can replace the filter on one side, you can keep a ghost hose on, and you can use the Ghost Hose and NATO masks, or Ghost masks, but you can have a safe NATO filter on the other side. Because where the uh, Ghost Hose connects to a mask, even if there was a gap here, um, air comes out due to positive pressure, so it's totally safe. And again, I can't smell anything funny in the air. This is working perfectly. So um, it works on, obviously, actual positive pressure masks like it's meant to. It works fine on Avon masks, it works fine on Israeli masks. Uh, just for the sake of it, let's try it on an SHM-41 now. Right, we'll use the Polish MUA to test an SHM-41 style mask, so put this on. Right, that's working fine. Now 
it's funny enough because the X sound sound isn't really like this. Oh. Uh, these masks can't also design for positive pressure. So too much air is being forced out of here. The mask obviously works. The issue is that if I cover that valve, the um, thing inflates. Um, but yeah, this actually works absolutely fine. Um, but obviously Soviet masks are not designed to work as positive pressure systems, but there you go. So, hopefully you like my um, positive pressure system, fairly easy to rig one up. Uh, it'd be much better to use electrical tape or duct tape than the parcel tape because this isn't the strongest stick, it still works absolutely fine for this, you know, rigged up prototype one. Um, there might be more compact designs you can get of this. If you were really sort of um, wanting to do a bit of DIY, you could probably rig it up so a 40mm filter could have some sort of thread on here and then you could screw that directly on, it would save a lot of trouble. Um, it would also be good if you could get one of those hoses that's got the 90 degree connections in it so it could go straight back up. Um, and as I said, enough, with enough time and effort you could probably rig up a belt thing so you could just have this you know, next to you like that on some sort of belt or harness rather than needing to go into a satchel bag where it's a bit cramped, but the positive pressure system works absolutely fine. As said, these are easy units to do it with. If I just put that upside down, this is just one of those systems that takes the D batteries that, and I've got the rechargeable energizer ones which are very good I'll give those another charge now um, but yeah they should have a couple of hours worth of life in them easily for this even though these pumps aren't meant to be run continuously but there you go as I said I really ought to use duct tape not um, parcel tape for this bit but the design the prototype works very well regardless so it's just going to be a bit of fine tuning now and I have made a positive air pressure system that works for a gas mask um, isn't too clumsy for less than a tenner rather than spending 30 to a couple of hundred quid on one. So there you go. That's how to DIY your own positive air pressure respirator system.